Welcome to the Paintech Bite Size Reviews, this time for the Arduino Mini 05. This little bad boy here, it really is teeny tiny. It's a tiny little thing. Comes complete with its headers. Little reset button on there. It is absolutely minuscule. Um, it is um, an, based on an Atmega328, which is um, uh, the same chip as you would find on an Arduino Uno. It runs at 16 megahertz, same as an Uno. In fact, it's very similar to an Uno, just with an awful lot less functionality on board to make it so very small. Um, it will run on seven to nine volts input voltage recommended. It will just about handle between five to nine volts um, at its limits, but it's recommended to run its input voltage between seven and nine volts. Um, it only has pin, uh, pin inputs for its power because it doesn't have a USB port on board of any kind. It has 14 digital pins in and out that run at five volts, of which six can do PWM, and it has internal software-driven pull-up resistors. It has eight analog inputs um, and two interrupt pins available. RAM available, flash memory or sketch RAM is 32 kilobytes, and the program memory is two kilobytes, so just beware of that. I mean, this is all basically the same specs apart from the quantity of pins as an Uno, um, so there are some limitations in that respect. The EEPROM is one kilobyte, um, as far as I'm aware, I think on this one it's actually a dedicated EEPROM, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, there is no USB port. It has one serial UART TTL port which runs at 5 volts. It can do I2C on pins 2 and 3, SPI on pins 27 and 28. It is 30mm by 18mm and it is 5 grams in weight. And I'll just turn that over so you can see the underside briefly. That's how teeny tiny it is. So if you are thinking of making a purchase of any Arduino products in the future, please, if you'd like this review, do bear in mind um, and think of paintech.co.uk for your next purchase. See you next time.